I thought I would try something different this week. I got sent some of this uh, Smith's Leather Balm to try out. So the guy, Shane, who, who makes this stuff, he made it with the intention of restoring shoes and things like that, I believe. Which I'm gonna... One's been done with the Smith's Leather Balm, the other one hasn't. It makes a huge difference, obviously. But I kind of knew it was gonna do that well, because that's what it's designed for. So I thought a better test would be to actually try and use this as a finish and see how well it performed there. So I've used this on, on a few products now and it does work surprisingly well as a finish. I can't really speak of the sort of longevity of, of it as a finish because I've only had it a couple of days. But certainly the first impression is that it seems to perform just as well as the Resiline does. My main concern when this actually arrived was the tin was actually a lot smaller than I thought it would be. I don't really think that's fair because it says one ounce and I should have known what one ounce was. But when it arrived, the tin was slightly smaller than I thought. But once I, once I got used to applying this, you don't actually need all that much and it does make a big difference. So I'd say maybe if you're someone who makes bigger products like bags and things like that, maybe these tins aren't going to last you very long. But certainly for myself who makes, you know, small things, wallets, in that situation, this thing's going to last a very long time. So yeah, initial impressions are, are certainly very good. I think in the short term, I'm certainly going to use this instead of Resiline. If I notice any problems sort of developing over it with, with the longevity of it, I'll maybe, I'll maybe switch back or, or go to something else. Part of the appeal of this Smith's Leather Balm is that it's all made from natural ingredients and it's all handmade and it's a small company as well, which I obviously appreciate. If you haven't tried this stuff out yet, I'll leave a link in the description. You can go and check out their website and check out their socials. I might do a video comparing some finishes. So if there's anything anyone would like to see included in that, maybe just let me know in the comments. And thanks very much.